Crazy lady. Some heroes welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, did they not have chili cheese Fritos? Oh, they most certainly had that middle school classic, but they weren't on your list. The stakes were well established the moment we see a pregnant stomach, which adds to the tension because we're already set trying to figure out what is the exact relationship between these women, even though um, we get a lot of tender moments hinting that they uh, hinting at them being lovers or ex-lovers. And I think the short does a really good job of communicating through movement, whether that's the quick, quick grab of um, snacks during that trip inside the store or the persistent attempts to hold hands or the betraying moment of a thank you kiss. The whole meaning of what I need completely changes from the first moment we see it on the literal list that we see on that first frame um, to the end when everything kind of goes down and I thought it was very is really extremely emotional to me and very compelling which is sort of the theme of this entire film what Heather really needs in her life and what Jean needs um, and these things are different and the same um Heather you know believing that she needs what society is telling her that she needs um this perfect little family and then Jean um, knowing what she needs is not um, consistent with that nuclear family and wanting Heather to realize it too. Um, so in that way, it's a little bittersweet because we see what could have been. We see how how much Jean cares for Heather and how much she's willing to sacrifice for her and Heather not being willing to do the same. Um, I thought overall the acting was really great and the chemistry between the two was... Um, consistent with you know the chemistry between exes how it can be so familiar and yet um have that awkwardness to it i thought they played that out really well um and yeah i i thought that this was a well done film um and it just felt very honest in its depiction of uh sort of a struggle that i feel like a lot of lgbtq couples can go through sometimes you know feeling pressured by society on one end and from their actual needs and wants from the other, um, having to choose between the two sometimes. The storyline is well-crafted and evokes so many deep emotions. The performances of all the cast members were excellent, notably the leads. The love and pain between them was so visceral. I also thought the scene with the husband was suitably awkward and uncomfortable. The soulful vocals were so beautiful and perfect for this piece. What an excellent, thought-provoking film. This has this great chemistry between the performers. Mm -hmm. They have lovely music. It's a heartbreaking conversation. When you have this realization of the dichotomy what, between what you want and what you need or someone needs from you, it is so romantic and also very sad. You see this woman that's pregnant it's she's falling into the customary thing to do but she feels pressured to do to please others and you can see that scene with the husband where she's clearly unhappy um and then you have this unfair request that she makes because she needs something from the other person and thankfully the other person takes a hold of uncontrol and besides what's best, what's best for them. The way that it was crafted kind of left you in this place where you think that it's going one way and then all of a sudden they do a hard right turn and it takes you to a place where you weren't expecting. Um, your two lead actresses were so fantastic and had such a great rapport. They were instantaneously likable. They drew you into this. They made this fun. I found myself smiling, kind of giggling and laughing at them with, with everything that was going on. And the two of them were so sweet together. I loved watching them on camera and how the story was progressing. And then when it took that turn, I was like, wait, what? They're not together together? So it was very, um, that gut punch that you feel 
and that your lead actress was going through that, that sadness that oh, you feel it too. I think that the camera work was fantastic. I loved what they did in the car. I think the music that they chose, especially at the beginning, was spot on, right on. It just got you in the mood to have a good time. And I love the fact that they were able to kind of like yank that rug out from under you and take a left turn. I thought the performances were really powerful, especially the the actress that we start off with in the store. I just think she really stood out as far as her emotions and, you know, what she was struggling with. It was there, but it wasn't too in your face. And then it was like moment to moment for me. I felt like she was really in the moment and did a great job with her, her performance in this. Um, I liked the story a lot. Um, I love the line, by the way, the writing was great. I wrote down one of the lines cause I thought it was very um, powerful and funny. I want you to stop pretend to be something you're not and be happy. I mean, how many, I mean, we could say that about many scenarios that, we people do this in it's not just this one but i know that this is a powerful message for this community um so i'm not trying to diminish it but i'm just trying to relate to it in in other ways as well i mean how how much you know do we stop how much do we actually um tell people what we want and what we need and actually get it and are happy with with that. So I, I loved the play on the want versus the need. Great music. The opening really was super upbeat and really brought me in and didn't really, I didn't know where this was going to go, which was awesome. When she was pregnant, you're like, Oh, did you know, are they having a child through like a sperm donor or what's going on here? Um, again, great acting, great casting. Um, I love the camera shots from the car. 